Hey guys, welcome back. BGCKR here. And we're back with our weekly update slash weekly Q&A. Yeah, sorry for missing last week. We had a bunch of stuff going on. And we totally blew our deadline for that. Yeah, so anyways, um, in WWE Immortals, right now, the online is Animal Batista, which is what you can see now. And the challenge is Raging Minotaur The Rock. And the... And on Bautista, this is the second time in multiplayer online as a reward. So here's your chance to promote him. Yeah, to get him to Elite 5. In Mortal Kombat X, the online is the second faction wars that has Jason Voorhees in it. Both slasher and unstoppable, depending on which percentile you are in. And if only we could get on to faction wars, we're having trouble with yeah, that. Yeah, we get on every once in a while. Again, I, I'm not even that that bothered by it. I haven't been playing Mortal Kombat that much. It's, I find it more of a frustration than anything else. Yeah, especially when it, it... If it's basically impossible to get everybody maxed out, then it feels like there's almost no point in playing it past just kind of beating the in-game goal set, which is beating the single-player storyline, which in Mortal Kombat X, the game which I think would really benefit from a hard single-player storyline the most, it really has almost none. Yeah. So, in Injustice, the online is just the normal gear, and the challenge is the new Red Lantern, Hal Jordan, which acts as a Green Lantern card as far as support guards go, which makes sense because, in the end, they are the same character. Yeah, and if you haven't seen our video demonstrating just how overpowered he is... He's a complete badass, mostly because of what looks like an error. Yeah, that they've uh, overpowered his special too. They underpowered it based on his stats in terms of the numbers that they've listed, but they've overpowered it even compared to what it should be when you see the damage. Yeah, so it's like three times what it's listed as for the maximum damage. And it, it, just in case, you were considering we're going to try to film a video of him taking on Raven with all fourth world uh, gear set, if we can find her. Yeah, so definitely grab him, and I think it's a little bit important, more important than for other challenges to do this relatively fast, because you never know when they're going to patch it. And in the meantime, he's really, really fun to play around with and just beat the crap out of people. Yeah, and here's what you're up to. The one video that we did, finishing in Epic Battle, the total battle time for all five was listed uh, 49 seconds. Which Not one, all Ridiculous. Five. It is, absolutely. Yeah, um, average of like eight seconds per fight, I think, in the counted time. So anyways, now we're going to move on to the questions. Our first question comes from Rick Blevins. We've heard his name a few times before on our channel. Um, have you found an easier way of getting fourth world gears? Yeah, uh, we wish. <laughs> Otherwise, we wouldn't have had five helmets and 14 chest plates before getting our first copy of the mace. But we did finally, and but no secret, it was just grinding survivor, which was a bit of a pain. Yeah, so the odds look kind of ridiculous if they aren't stacked or made different in some way, right? Mm -hmm. Because to get um, 14 chest plates and 5 helmets before getting any of the mace, I think the first one we got was also the chest plate. No, actually, nope. we got the helmet what? first. We got the helmet first? Never mind, sorry, I yeah. don't know what I'm and then saying. we got a ton of chest plates over and over. Yeah, and over. so, um, it just, the numbers from this perspective, obviously this is nowhere near enough actual data, right? But the numbers do look pretty stacked. Whether it's just one of um, the... Whether it's if the Morningstar... Is it called? The Mace, sorry. Is that much harder to get always? Or if it's just they give you two relatively easily and then make the third one really hard to get? It, we definitely... It does look a little sketchy, right? Yeah, absolutely. For just how many it took. Okay, so our next question comes from Brown underscore Unibrow. And this was on one of our Survivor series. I'm guessing this is the end of the mini series. Anyways, it was certainly helpful, and I'm glad you guys did it. Keep up the great work. First off, thanks. We always like hearing positive comments from fans. Yeah, and it was a bit of an experiment, and it seems like it was successful. But the difficulty and challenge of doing something like the Survivor series is that we get the update at the same time, and sometimes even later than everyone else does. So in order to film something informative, we need to play enough to, one, get familiar with it, two, figure out what tips could be helpful, three, decide what to film that would demonstrate the tips most effectively, and then film it. 
So it might be already obvious to you when we watch it that we filmed all five videos in one sitting and in one run through of Survivor on the first weekend after the update drop, based on you know our credit total, which didn't change much between the videos. So there's a time crunch as far as uploading a video that's helpful without being old news. Yeah. It may not say it in the description, but these really were our first impressions. If we had earlier access and could play around with it, we might be able to do a better or at least a more timely job with our tips videos. And I think we do have a lot of tips just in general about the game, but um, it's a little bit more difficult because, like, a lot of the people who watch our videos utilize our glitches, are a lot farther in the game, and have a lot of that kind of general knowledge that was very helpful to us when we started playing Injustice, but probably not to a lot of our current viewers. Yeah. So, and we actually, one of the other things was we actually had ideas for six or seven Survivor videos, but we couldn't film them because the last fourth world gear didn't drop until a couple days ago. Yeah, so our next question comes from Mystical Zoro. Okay, sorry, I'm going to interrupt oh. just for a second. Normally, I, I'm doing these play videos as a dem, uh, sorry, as background noise. I just wanted to point out something with the team that came and attacked us and lost. This is probably the best argument for why you should fully elite, fully promote the Joker, because he did nothing. He gave three bars of power, but the special three of Nightwing, not a great strategy, because the supers often get a chunk blocked. And despite doing a special three immediately, Ares survived the hit. So now you've got basically two guys against three, and now he's blown his other super to knock it out. So now you're down to two against two, and Hal Jordan hasn't even been touched. Yeah, this was a great strategy. If, again, it's, it's partly the team makeup, but it also is difficult. When you use special three, you're a super, you're, you're running a huge risk. That yeah, I didn't expect this team to be any good on defense, but you're running a huge risk that what's going to happen is you're going to... Oh, this is painful to watch. You're going to basically be giving up a slot for not a lot of um, damage, not a lot of... Yeah, he's getting benefit. pretty well destroyed. Okay, so anyways, our next question comes from Mystical Zarar, which I think this is the third time that we've responded to him. He's becoming definitely more active on our channel. Uh, I came in too late for Ares, and then later, could you say a replacement for Ares? Yeah, if you don't face Raven, uh, Red Lantern Hal Jordan could take out everyone on his own. The times will be a, a bit slower, like marginally slower, um, but when you see the team that we've got, Batgirl is there only to help Ares start with two parts. Oh, I should have said that this was the fight, the Hal Jordan fight, uh, where we're demonstrating just how good Hal Jordan was. And um, Batgirl's only there to help Ares start with two bars, right? She's not even really necessary except for her passive, even though she's pretty good in her own right. Um, so if you don't have Ares, you don't really need Batgirl on your team, unless you want to start with a special two. Uh, so whoever you use to replace those two on the team, Ares and Batgirl, make sure you have at least one option to take out Raven, um, especially since she might be carrying a full fourth world gear set. Uh, one obvious choice, John Stewart Green Lantern, since he gives you the chance to get at least two and sometimes unlimited uh, supers when his uh, passive engages. So that's the barrier that protects him. Well, actually, let's just hold on. Ah, this is fourth video set. You know what? Let's show you this. Then we're going to do a proper full video where we're going to show you real-time play, not just a replay. So one obvious choice, uh, I mentioned Juster Green Lantern, and he, what you might not know is that when he gets, when his passive engages, not only does he not the does your character not take damage from other people's damage, it doesn't take damage from yourself. So Red Lantern Hal Jordan keeps his full health, or what, what's left of it, when the passing age is so it, as many specials as you can do before it stops, do it right then. And sometimes there's a glitch where even after the barrier disappears, you can still keep doing specials at no cost. Which is great. Yep. And so our last... Well, comment this time, I guess, is from I-B-O-T, The Adventurer. And it says, you're all talk, stupid video. And we'd like to point out that you should really take the moment to think about what you're saying before you post such a hurtful comment. The video was really, really offended. Think about it in the future. Alright, so, again, normally this, I, I'm going to step away from what we normally do. This is usually meant to be background. I explain what the strategy initially was when we when we took this fight to Raven. 
you know, so we swapped out Ares immediately. We did not use it on Raven because when her when she revives after her uh, the fourth world world gear set, she'll automatically process her. She'll automatically process her um, passive. So the original intention was to uh, use Red Lantern Hell Jordan. But because his health was so low, because he got hit unintentionally, we let him get hit unintentionally, he didn't have enough health to do any of his passes, and if he does what, or sorry, his specials, and if he does a special now, he just get knocked out. So what you really should be doing, the first part was right, where you let uh, Batgirl stall a bit, but then you just basically totally let Red, Red Lantern do a special 2, and his special 2 is powerful enough to knock her out, and the last few hits will knock her out again after she revives. Which is really good. Alright, that's it. <coughs> Thanks for watching, guys. See you guys next time. Komoda.